What's going on guys? It's Nate Humphrey and today we'll be talking about um, how common is depression. Uh, this study that I'm going over in this book it is in, it's from 20, 2016 um, and it states 6.7% of adults in the United States met criteria for a uh, current depressive episode. Depression is almost twice as common in females as in males after the onset of puberty. There are a variety of explanations for this, including that women have a greater tendency to ruminate or think over and over again about their problems in a passive manner than men. Co-occurring conditions, individuals with depression often have co-occurring or comorbid conditions these include like anxiety disorders, like example, generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, and social anxiety disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, personal disorders, substance use disorders, and medical illnesses. Depression may occur in response to another psychiatric disorder such as anxiety. However, depression can also increase the risk of developmental additional psychiatric problems. What causes depression? There is no like specific answer to this question. Research has demonstrated that depression is caused by an interaction of genetic and environmental factors with the most predictive factor being a significant family history of major depressive disorder. Some specific factors that may impact the onset of reoccurrence of depression includes stressors, losses, abuse, neglect, conflict, bullying, how individuals interpret those stressors and individuals' ability to cope with stressors when they occur. In addition, the presence of another psychiatric disorder, medical illness, use of medication, and other factors may play a role. It's fairly common for individuals with depression to spend a lot of time thinking about their symptoms and what cause them. This is part of rumination, which is defined as passively and repetitively focused on one symptom of distress and the circumstances surrounding these symptoms. Some frequent topics people renovate about include relationships problems, breaking up, events from your past that were disappointing or upsetting to you, painful feelings, like sadness, shame, guilt, hopelessness. Or you might like ask yourself, why me? Why did I become depressed? Why did this happen to me? Negative thoughts about the future, such as, will I ever get better? How long will this last? My future is hopeless and others. We've all like been here, depending on where you are with your like mental health and depression and anxiety and everything else that you might have to deal with inside your brain or it's how you deal with it. While this can feel helpful in the moment, it actually makes depression worse and can get in the way of effective problem solving. Therefore, it is important to work on what you can do moving forward to address your symptoms than to spend too much time analyzing your causes of your depression. So this is a question that is in this booklet. When was the last time you experienced mild depressive symptoms? And what might be different for you if your symptoms significantly improved? Um, like I said in the last video, most of the time with me they're like mild. Like I'll have like a day where I'm like just sad. I don't really think about like something in particular. Like I'll just it really depends on like the situation too like sometimes a situation or like a song or like anything like that can trigger something in your head like for like a memory or something you had or like you watch a movie or something and let's say for example like you're watching a movie and there's 
parents screaming at each other and like the kid is like just like in a ball and that could bring back some memories like for example this i'm not sure where this film was from but it's called incident i think it's in a ghost land or on a ghost land but that movie like messed me up that was like i'll put i'll put um i'll put it somewhere on the screen so if you guys want to check it out it is a very, it's a horror movie, but it's like, I don't want to describe it to you guys because I don't want to like tell, give anything away, you know what I'm saying, if you guys want to watch it, but let's go check that out. If you guys, just please be aware, there's is some messed up stuff, um, depending on what like has happened to you or you like go with like mentally. I um, hope you guys are doing good with battling your demons inside yourself. These videos, I just want to help. If I help at least one person, that's all I care about, you know what I'm saying? That's why I made this channel, to help anyone I can help. I know I might not be the best at wording stuff or like reading stuff, but I try to do the best I can. If you guys like want to give me like like critiques and shit, like I'm all okay with that. Like it's all good, man. Like I read the hate comments too and I like I, it helps as well. I know, I know you might like get down from if you have like hateful comments and stuff, but just use it as like what can I do to better myself and stuff like that. For, for the question though, when was the last time you experienced mild depressive symptoms? Um, I would probably have to say like a few weeks ago, I was thinking about my grandmother because I don't know what came up, but there was something about like a grandmother or something and my grandmother just came into mind and I'm like, I usually, when I think about her, I usually like get sad, but then I, and there's, then there's a part of me that's like, she's, she's watching over you. She's still here. So you're not like, she's not gone forever. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't really like see her. I forget what her voice even sounds like. I wish I had like a recording or something. So just love who you got around. And if you don't have like a family to go to, just maybe you have like one friend or I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But just love who you got around because you never know what may be happening in their head and you might, you never know when someone is going to leave you, you know what I'm saying? So just love who you have around because you really never know, you know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Hope you guys are staying safe. And I hope these videos are going to help you in some way, shape, or form. I love y'all. Stay safe. I will see you in the next video.